I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. What do you think? I'm the landing pad guard. I was standing out on the fucking tarmac. Hell of a job until all this. Anything else you'd like to know? Distress call from here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. Got me. I just do what I'm told, and I was told not to do such. Alarms went off, raps broke loose. Um, forget I said anything about that. Wish they tasted like sissy pig. <laughs> Them's good eating. Some say chicken. I say the north end of a southbound woolly cow. Oh, before I forget, Anti Cleo's makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap Spacer's Choice petals. I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then make it quick, please. Aren't you with the brutes that attacked our lab? Aren't you here to pillage our supplies and leave our corpses to the raptodons? Oh, well, good luck. Now, if we got the carpet in here, it's just a matter of horse. Oh, uh, you're still here. If you haven't already, you might speak to Anton. He can point you in the right direction. Now, if we got the carpet in here. What does it look like? I'm preparing a personal defense device. Or trying to, anyway. I... Why, yes. I suppose I could. Thanks. No. Uh, well, yes. Well, no. Uh, perhaps. I left schematics in our storage facility. As far as I know, the security commander hasn't found them yet. I admit I'd feel better were they returned to me. Say, uh, you wouldn't happen to have a tube of thermal paste on you, would you? Blast. Well, good luck. I hope I see you back here in one piece. Oh, clever. Closed? Maybe on account of health code violations? 
I don't think you're supposed to be wandering around. Security's gonna tell you to make tracks. Wanna treat yourself before you go? Something for the... I don't really know you. Roseway's supposed to be closed off to visitors. Stands to reason you could be a corporate spy of some sort. Then again, there's nothing in my contract that says I can't sell the corporate spies. Your bits are the same as anybody else's. Sure, not like I get many customers. Can't say I do. Any Clio products satisfy all of our nutritional needs. At least they used to. My folks filled their whole pantry with all sorts of Annie Cleo products. These days, we don't get much in the way of variety. Maybe some tripicale pasta or some ketchup if we're lucky. I hear it's like that all over the colony. We eat what we can get, and we don't get much. I'm so glad you asked. Some people say the name refers to the 17 rungs in Auntie Cleo's official ladder of corporate advancement. These people are wrong. Truth is, we've been established, closed down, renamed, reestablished, and then reopened a grand total of 17 times in the last 40 years. Corporate's still deliberating over a new name. The matter remains hotly contested in committee, but we're expecting a decision within the next five to seven years. Exciting times. Technically, I'm not in business at all. Roseway closed down years ago. Corporate still sends us the occasional shipment of necessities through unofficial back channels. Of course, if something goes wrong, like one of our guards drinking himself to an early grave or raptodons running wild, corporate won't acknowledge we ever existed. Sure, you need something to clean raptodon blood out your clothes? I told you, you're staying put. You're not listening. We can stop this. Only thing stopping them beasts is high caliber kinetics. Uh, if we close the vent shaft, we can contain them.
You picked a hell of a day to visit. I'm Vaughn. Vaughn Cortez. Uh, Dr. Vaughn Cortez. But just Vaughn's fine, really. Over in the main labs. I rabbited back here when I realized I was hearing gunshots, not blown fuses. We've been cooped up in here, I don't know, hours? Too long. I have to get back to, to work. Uh, Dr. Crane might say otherwise. Me? When those guys started shooting the place up, I was first out the door. I had to leave an experiment running at the lab. Something I've been working on a long while. Something that could really get me ahead. Know what I mean? I've been extracting organic compounds from raptodons. Compounds that have, um, uh, benefits. Whoa, slow down. Benefits? In certain social situations. Personal situations. Where you might want to, um, enhance your charisma. Sure. Of course. Our lab's south of here, down the road. Not the old public lab, the one past that, built into the mountainside. My equipment's in the lower levels, way in the back. I have a big room all to myself. Dissection tables and whatnot. It should have been running this whole time. Just grab the results and bring them here. Great! <sighs> this is really gonna save my ass. Estimating the importance of the eighth back. Blankenship, she's okay, but Lunsford has the highest rate of foot goals per game. But if you cross reference with the skills of the opposing team, his hand goal rate plummets. What? <sighs> Lunsford plays worse against better teams, Blankenship plays better. Way to win a game is by getting the most body goals. Mm, risky. 
year over size analysis proves that body goal attempts fail 60% more than foot goals. That's why. I had to look at those yellow walls all day, I'd make a point to sleep on the roof. If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? Yes, yes. Anton Crane, lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Standard operating procedure for suits, boss. They're all a bunch of cowards. I'm not sure it's right to fault a man for trying to survive. An attack. One that I'd wager was due to the nature of my research here. My research may not quite fall within legal parameters, so I'm under orders to maintain wireless silence. However, having your head used as target practice can addle one's thinking. I cut the call immediately once I'd gathered my wits. The Home Office can't know what's happening here. Captain's got your best interests at heart, mister. Honest. I suppose it can't hurt. If I don't get that research back, my life is over regardless. We were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. Not just any diet toothpaste, the ultimate diet toothpaste. Oh, I'm certain it could be made into that as well, with only a few changes to its molecular composition. But you're missing the point. Let's focus for a moment, shall we? Even if you disregard the obvious value of Auntie Cleo's Apazap diet toothpaste in and of itself, we're talking about my career here as well. Nice, is it not? Came up with that myself. It's a shame our marketing department is almost as befuddled as my co-workers here. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us, shot up our labs and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. Yes, but don't kill their mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and keycard. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original... by the Grand Architect. Jameson, he's in the old lab. My protege, 
I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors, and I forgot him. That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here. Too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, as it were. And far too much paperwork. I'll thank you not to mistake my ambition for callousness. If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? All they do is complain. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. Believe what you will, but I'm not the manipulative, ego-driven person you think me to be. I'm not. Dr. Crane's research, but we ought to find Mr. Jameson. He's got to be all alone, scared. 